Hey guys, how are you doing today? I am back with an other review and today I'm gonna be reviewing all the game passes and don't shoot me if you have another opinion uh, than I have about some game passes but I'm just trying to be as honest as possible and looking from a perspective if you don't have them yet. So let's get right into it. So the first game pass I'm gonna be talking about is the excellent employee game pass. It's 300 Robux and it gives you um, more earnings and also it gives you a better promotion like uh, a higher chance of uh, getting promoted no that's wrong it promotes you faster that's what i meant so um let's see how it works so it's important when you go to work that all your stats are up which means you will make more money let's check it out so if you make one pizza instead of going up uh one level you go up two levels as you see you make $19 a pizza and I think if you don't have the excellent employee game pass it's about half your I think I'm not quite sure but it's definitely worth it and I recommend you if you have 300 robux get this game pass this is the most important game pass you can have in this game according to me because it will get you money so fast when you level up I know a friend, he's level 42 in uh, pizza delivery and he makes about a hundred thousand dollars in 15 minutes. So it's definitely worth getting if you want to like build a giant house or just save up, do some fun stuff around uh, your place. Definitely get this game pass, it is worth the 300 robux. So the next game pass I'm going to be talking about is a premium game pass. Uh, this one is a little bit more expensive than the excellent employee It's 400 robux and as a premium member uh, Your bills are hell uh, half of what you normally pay you get double daily rewards So instead of uh, 200, let's say you get 400. I don't think it's that much. I'm not quite sure anymore and You get a special name tag and also when you join the game you Actually can choose where your plot is gonna be so if you join in the game uh, you get some arrows around like you can you can just choose but usually the game is full and there's only one spot in the map so it's not really useful I do not recommend this game pass I don't think it's worth 400 robux okay your bills are half so if your bills are up 4,000 it will jump down to 2,000 but double daily rewards are not as much and if you have the excellent employee game pass you can definitely earn that double daily reward in about 30 seconds so it's really up to you if you want to pay half the bills and you have a lot of robux left I suggest buy it but I don't recommend it at all. If I didn't have the Robux I had now, I wouldn't have bought it, probably. It's it's completely up to you, of course. And also, you get a red name in chat, so uh, this person has a premium game pass. So the next game pass is Multiple Floors. It comes in at 300 Robux. Um, this game pass allows you to build on multiple floors, so it says current floor here. It allows you to go to the second and the third floor. When you're a builder, this is almost a must-have, I think. I see a lot of people with three-story houses. Well, this one doesn't, but usually you see them a lot around the map. And this is also one of the game passes I strongly recommend getting. If you want to live on a single floor, of course, that's possible. You don't have to buy it. And if you're used to building single-story houses, of course, it's not useful for you. But if you want to build apartments and such, or just a house with two to three stories, it's always nice to have a game pass like that. You can also make uh, rooftop gardens. There's a ton of variety, and for 300 Robux, yes, I do recommend it. But on the other hand, I feel like it should be included in the game already, and not like in an extra game pass. It is still a house building game. But I do understand the owner of, Ro of Bloxburg to try and make money out of it, because when everyone has the game already, he doesn't have an income flow so it's it's a good thing for him moving on to the next game pass so the next game pass is unlocked stereo it's 400 robux as well so you get that 100 robux extra again uh, it allows you to play roblox uh, sound in game so if you have a radio you can actually let me um see so if you have a radio you can add ids in it so you can go to a website I'll put the website in the description and you can copy IDs from there and then uh, you can add them to your radio and just add music in it so it's very um 
specific to people who want to listen to the radio a lot in Bloxburg. I don't know if a lot of people do that. And you can also go to your uh, car and normally, if it works, <laughs> but apparently it's not right now. Okay, use radio. So you have a radio in your car and you can just play some random tunes. And also if you jump out of the car, it keeps playing the music. But the music is very located, so um, if you zoom out like that, you won't hear the music anymore. And you just like need to be zoomed in close. And also, uh, if you go to the dance club, you can use the DJ booth. Same as with the radio or the car radio, whatever. So, do I recommend this Game Pass? It's really up to you. If you listen to music a lot in-game, I do recommend it. If you don't listen to music a lot in game, it's worthless for you. And 400 Robux is a lot for a game pass like that. I'm pointing towards no, I don't recommend it. Let me just uh, go here and show you that you can use the DJ boot like this. And this is the ad song, so enter a sound ID. I will um, put a link uh, to the website in the description, like I said. That's, that's basically all it does. So for 400 Robux, it's not as much as you think it would do, but if you listen to music a lot, again, buy it, maybe, if you have the Robux. So the next Game Pass is a little bit cheaper. It's called Advanced Placing. And what it be does basically is you can place items uh, inside each other so they can cross each other. It's very useful for some nifty tricks you can do in build mode. So if you do placement grid small, usually when you build a garden, you can't place trees uh, this close to each other. So it's a nice extra feature to have when you're building. It's always nice to do. Also, when you like make a kitchen, it's very, very useful. If you do a kitchen, a lot of the times your counters uh, won't be able to match like this. But with the advanced placing game pass, you can basically just place your counter inside the other counter. So it, it isn't as hard. Of course, I disconnected this one. It isn't as hard to do with the advanced uh, placement. And there's also a lot of stuff you can add. Like I like to add stairs. Uh, in front of my windows so they look a little bit more blinded and you have a little more a little bit more privacy in game those are just some nice features you have if you like if you don't have the game pass you can also place pillars and fences through each other to make an extra thing I, I don't know quite what to call it but it's it's a very useful uh, game pass and I do strongly recommend it if you like building okay and then we get to the very last game pass and the last game pass is called large plot it's 250 robux so it's in the cheaper game pass area for Bloxburg game passes I know it's still a bit expensive but the large plot actually almost enlarges your plot by double the size so if you don't like uh, building gardens and you just want a small house you don't need this game pass but it's always fun if you want to build a really long garden I'm just gonna place a fence it actually it's a really tall plot if you get the game pass and I strongly recommend this one as well it's a very nice if you if you want to create like um, a nice big garden with a pool barbecue area maybe a little forest in the back it's just gives you so many more things you can do except from building that one house on your plot with a tiny garden like to me it's really worth it and if I were to build bigger houses maybe I would definitely use it a lot as space for extra garden I also have a friend who doesn't like to be on the side of the street so he usually builds a forest in the front and then builds a house completely in the back so he has to drive all the way through but it's really nice and I do recommend it it's it's a bit expensive for what it is of course but if you have it you have it so I hope this video helped you out a little bit I'm just gonna go over like my top six of what which one to get so in sixth place my least favorite game pass is music the music pass doesn't give you as much as you think it will give you maybe I'm rating it three out of ten and then on the fifth place is premium game pass this game pass might be a little better than the uh, unlock stereo game pass but it still doesn't give you as much as you think it would give you for the 400 robux if you don't like to work in game of course it's very useful to have half bills and double daily rewards but if you work like one minute a day in game the double rewards are useless maybe but it is nice for people who don't have as much robux that they get like if they play seven days in a row they get the block bucks doubled as well 
So if you're saving up for that, it might be useful. I'm giving the premium game pass 6 out of 10. Then in 4th place is a, is the large plot. It's useful for people who want to build big. If you, if you build small houses, it's not useful. If you like to have a mansion with a big garden, of course, it's very useful. So I suggest you, you could buy it. It's, it's really up to you. I really like the game pass. So I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. And then in third place is advanced placement. Uh, advanced placement is 200 Robux, which is really the lower end, <laughs> almost of Bloxburg. I just I just like the fact that you can do so much more that you couldn't do before, like building two tables inside each other. You can make nice uh, living areas. Also in the garden, it's very useful. You can uh, cross plants right through each other. So that's a very useful thing to have if you like to build and. Especially when you build tiny houses, this is the game pass to get. And I'm rating it 8.5 on 10. And then in second place is the floor pass. So the floor pass, <laughs> I mean, I don't have to explain much more than what it is. It gives you access to the uh, second and third floor. And to me, it's very, very useful. Where I live, we have a lot of two to three story houses. So I usually base myself on that. Just the fact that if you build on the third story, you have the nicest view of the town of Bloxburg. Especially when you build like big windows and maybe your kitchen on the highest floor. I like to do that. I like to build like a tiny mountain sort of and then add a tiny house on top just to have some views. Like it's it's beautiful. I give this game pass a 9 out of 10 maybe or an 8 and a half. Maybe somewhere in the middle in between that. But to me it's definitely worth it. And then my favorite game pass is the excellent employee. It's 300 Robux and I haven't regret it once that I bought this game pass. I mean, you level up so much faster, your income increases so much faster, it's it's like, it doubles. Usually you take a lot of time leveling up. When you have the excellent employee game pass, it seems so much easier. You work a little bit and go home with 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 dollars, only for working 20 to 30 minutes maybe. It just gives you so much more time to do what you want in game. You go home, you build, and you just you don't have to work as much and I give this game pass definitely a 10 out of 10 and if you have 300 robux get it as soon as possible because it's definitely worth it and you won't regret it so that was it guys I hope I help you out I helped you out a little bit more thank you guys so so much for watching hit that like button down below and subscribe